Hi, it's Pavel with the C Sharp exercise from a Visual C Sharp 2012 How to Program book, Chapter 16, Exercise 6. We the exercise calls for uh, finding uh, all possible three-letter words from a five-letter word. They say words, but what I mean is basically combinations. We will write a program that reads a five-letter word from the user and produces all possible three-letter combinations that can be derived from the letters of the five-letter word. So, for example, if the three-letter word produces uh, from the words B A T H E, uh, we will include, you know, like A T E, B A T, B E T, and so forth. But also some these are actually actual words, but don't think of them as words. Again, they are just combinations. They just happen to be an actual words that you know. But uh, there's also a bunch of nonsense combinations like BTH, EAB, and so forth. So, for example, uh, if I have a word one, two, three, four, five, all right, think of it as a word. Now, what kind of combinations can I get? So, I need three letters out of this. So, in these three letters, let's say, uh, I want this uh, the first letter to be part of uh, each of the combination. Uh, how many combinations can I get from that? Well, the first letter can be either first or second or third, out of, you know, in that three-letter word. So if it's first, I can get one two three, one two four, one two five, or one three two, one three four, one three five, or one four two, one four three, one four five. Or finally, one five two, one five three, and one five four. These are the combinations when the first letter of that actual word of the five-letter word will be the also the first letter of the three-letter combination. It can also be second letter in that three-letter combination or last letter. So all these are the possible combinations for the first letter to be the first, second, or third. So altogether we have, it can be first either 12 times, uh, I mean it can be first 12 times, it can be second 12 times, and it can be last or third uh, 12 times. And that goes for every uh, single letter of these. Each of these words can be 12 times first, 12 times second, or 12 times third. So. Out of this, we see that there are 36 combinations for the first letter. Now, uh, what about the second one? What about number two? Now, you can already see that number two is also being part of the combinations that we did for the number one. It's already second here, here, here. Uh, you know, it's uh, second here, and here, and here. So it's second uh, six times. So it's also first six times. You can see that it's uh, first here, here, and here. That's three times. And here, and here, and uh, here, here, and here. So it's first three, uh, six times, second six times, and third six times already in, as part of this combination. In other words, that would leave us, uh, since this was 36, it would be 18 less because we have it uh, 3 times 6 is 18. So what we get is, uh, so this is 36. Now we got 18. And finally, what we need uh, for, uh, for the other, th other three combinations, that's actually going to be only uh, 6. In other words, it's going to be 36, then half of it, uh, or 36 divided by 2 is 18, and 18 divided by 3 gives you 6. So plus 6, and that will equal 60, and that's how many combinations total of three-letter three combinations can be made out of five-letter word. All right, so that's much for the theory. Uh, in order for this to work, we will be doing uh, quite some uh, extensive looping, so if you're not familiar with loops, uh, this may not be the best exercise for you, but let's start. All right, so uh, first things first, we do the word. This is going to be what the user will supply. 
So we will do console dot write line uh, and something like please enter a five letter word and I will get all possible three letter combination. So three letter combinations. All right. So this is just the input for the you from the user. We will grab the input and store it in the, in the variable called word so it's just a read line so this is standard nothing really new here so now we have the word it's five letters so now you know we need to extract three letters out of it so in order to do that we need a loop so it's going to be an integer i'll call it r equals zero r is less than five and r plus plus so this is for the first letter this this loop now within that loop we need to grab the second letter so it's going to be an, another loop c equals zero c is less than five and c plus plus and finally we need the third letter so we will do one more loop and it's going to be uh, I'll call it x for example equals 0 x is less than 5 and x plus plus so this will grab the first letter the second letter and the last loop will uh, provide the third letter so let me just do a quick console that right line uh, let's just do right uh, not right line uh, because we'll write each letter uh, we'll combine the letters together to create the three letter word so we will need uh, since this is a string all we need to do is a substring uh, for each of the letters so uh, we will console that right line word that substring and the substring for the first letter will have an uh, index of r that's this this loop grabs our first letter this group will grab our second and this one the third letter so it's R as the starting index but we also we since we are only grabbing one letter we will do the length of one to grab only one letter out of the string we will combine it we will concatenate it with the second letter so that's going to be a word that substring this time the index is C that this one this loop grabs our second letter so it's C and again it's only one letter so that's why one and finally we will do word dot substring the x that's the that's the index of our third letter and again it's just one and at the end i will concatenate a space so this is three three separate letters and we will concatenate them into one word so uh, you know, let me just uh, show you what the output right now uh, this is not definitely this is not gonna work, but uh, I wanna s want you sh want you to see uh, What it does So if I do one two three four five I Get all these combinations you can I get one 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 two one one three one one four and so forth in other words it combine all the combinations, but what it did well not even all of them yet, but uh, you can see that we got one 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 or one one two one one three in other words it it takes this letter and combines it with itself we don't want them we only want to combine with each other we don't want to combine one with one because that's the same letter now think about what it is uh, again the, each of these loop is one or grabbing one letter for us so if this index equals this index what it means is that this is the same letter or if this index equals this index it's the same letter or if this index equals this index it's the same letter and we don't want that so we want to only output if the letters are not the same so if you do if uh, our index r it is not equal to uh, c and the index r is not equal to x and if our c is not equal to x 
In other words, if neither of these indexes is uh, equal, only then we will output or create the word because that will guarantee that we will not do like one one or or two two or something like that. Each will only combine the letters within that five letter word uh, without you know combining the same letter twice or three times even. So uh, if I run it now, you can see that uh, I do not have any one one. Uh, I don't have any doubles of any of these letters. They are all combinations with the other letters. But of course, this is a uh, not complete because all we get is this. This basically makes the one's first, one's second, uh, one's third. And uh, maybe it throws some. Yeah, so what we need, um, think about the com possible combinations, how those letters can be arranged. All right, so uh, I will copy this actually and paste it within the, within the brackets. So this is only one combination, one possible combination R. C and X. Each of these represents an individual letter. R, C and X. So another possible combination could be R, X and C. And uh, another combination could be uh, maybe C, R and X. Or how about we'll keep the R second? You see, this, uh, the R is first here and here. Now there's gonna be second here and here. So the other possible combination would be X, R, and C. All right. And finally, let me just copy both these lines. We can do R as the last letter. And it's gonna be C uh, X R or X C R. All right. So again, these are all the possible combinations how the letters can be arranged. So we got the R C X or R X C. This makes the uh, this would make uh, for the letter one, for example, to be first. Now for the letter one to be second, it could be C, R, X, or X, R, C. Or it could be last, and then it would be C, X, R, or X, C, R. All right, so these are the six possible combinations how to arrange the letters between each other. And um, as long as, again, they are not the same, only then we will be outputting this. And at the end, I will do a console that uh, right line so we will start a next column after that okay so let's see what we get now we should be close so if I do one two three four five I got a huge column of uh, definitely more than 60 combinations now so you can see that I get a one's first here that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so it's 12 of them just like i was expecting but then i got another 12 of them here and there's one first uh one is first here and here they keep repeating each other uh even though they are um uh, they are not like one one three or anything like that they are uh kind of com combinations of the letters uh, of the valid letters this already exists so it shouldn't we shouldn't have one three two over here uh, down here because we already have it right here so why does it repeat and uh, the reason for that is that uh, when it loops you know this is the loop that uh, finishes first then it comes back over here and it increases C to one uh, but x equals zero. So now we have c equals one and x equals zero. So we will repeat the combination again. 
what we have to do uh, the same over here like uh, we, we will increase r to 1 but then we'll start again from c0 and x0 this was already done all right so um, or x x uh, well it wouldn't work because of this uh, condition but let's say r equals uh, 2 and c equals 0 and x equal 1 that's a valid combination the, 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 the uh, r does not equal c and r does not equal x and c does not equal uh, x but they already were done so uh, what we want to do we always want to ensure that c is greater than r and then x is greater than c so they never uh, we never loop when uh, any of these so in other words so it kind of flows uh, only forward it does not go back at all so what we have to do, uh, so is we don't start from zero. We will uh, originally, but uh, after the loop uh, runs, we will we will not start from zero again. We will start from whatever the r equals to, and over here we will start from whatever c equals to. And this way, c will always be greater than x, and r will always be greater than c. Or equal but if they're equal then they, nothing will be printed because this will not run uh, this condition will be false so nothing will be output we could actually probably do like a r plus one but yeah I'll just leave it this way so if I run it now let me see I go to one two three four five and look at that I get one two three four five six 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 60 combinations. And let's do a little quick check. So how many, uh, the one, the number one should be first 12 times. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 6 over here. And I don't see it being first anywhere else. So that's 12 times. It should be second 12 times. So let's uh, find... It's right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's six over here. And nowhere else. And again, and it should be 12. Uh, third time. I mean, it's a third letter. Uh, so, and it's six and six. So it works for the number one. Or for the first letter. Now, let's try the middle one. So three, num uh, number three should be first 12 times so let's find it uh, here's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and here's 12 so it's first 12 times it should be tw uh, 12 times second so let's, uh, here's one, two, three, four, and five, here's six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, did I miss one? Ah, I probably did, hold on, let's try again, one, two, three, four five here's six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so it works so it's uh, 12 times uh, is, uh, second and it should be 12 times third so let's uh, see that one uh, two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it works for three. And finally, let's try the last one, which would be five, for example. So let's. Uh, it should be first uh, twelve times. Uh, so here's. Uh, where's five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and it should be twelve times second, 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, and last time uh, it should be last twelve times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And uh, that's that. Yeah. So it seems to be working fine. You see that it's it's 60 of them, but I just want to prove that that those are the possible uh, you know combinations. And uh, yeah, uh, this is how it's done. Bunch of loops. It's a very short program. Again, one loop grabs the first letter, second letter, third letter. We will only grab those letters if these indexes are not the same, so we don't, you know, repeat uh, or we don't grab the same uh, same letter twice. And finally, over here we do C equals R and X equals C because we don't want to go backwards. We we always want C to be greater than R and X to be greater than C. And they are uh, even though, like I said, even though they are equal here. Uh, they will this condition you know if r equals c or if c equals r then this will be false All right? or if uh, x equals c then uh, this will be false so uh, this will not uh, output it will only output if c is actually greater than uh, r and if uh, x is greater than c and these are the possible arrangements of each letter within uh, the three letter combinations so there's six of them and all together we have 60 combinations so if I run uh, uh, what is it that they ran if I run B B A T H E and you have you have the bad you have the uh, you know all these combinations eight right here uh, just like they did and but again it's one two three four five six and ten so that's 60 of them all right so um, yeah this is a uh, a little maybe confusing you kind of have to realize how you combining the word and how you are uh, you know looping through those words and you know comparing each uh, I mean uh, comparing each letter within uh, the file letter word and only picking three of them but uh, yeah if you run this uh, you know you can try to debug it just to see you know step by step how it loops you know how the output is being generated and hopefully it will help you okay that's it for now and I will see you next time take care